Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlifegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on the tray icon uh, or the tray application that will hold our internet favorites. So we need to come over here to favorites viewer tray and we need to add a class. Now we'll go ahead and name it web favorite menu item and we'll go ahead and click add now what we need to do is we need to have web favorite menu item inherit from something so we'll have it inherit menu item it says represents an individual item that is displayed within a system dot windows dot forms dot main menu or a context menu so basically what this is would be a menu item would be similar to this file right here. So when we click file, it shows us a menu. So we're creating a menu item that will show when they right click the star in the tray. So now that it inherits menu item, uh, what we need to do is we need to create a favorite. So we'll do public favorite as web favorite. And you can see here that web favorite is not available to us. So we need to come over here to Favorites Viewer Tray YouTube. We need to go to Project and we need to add a reference it. So we'll go to Projects and we will just add a reference for Internet Favorites and click OK. So now we can do Public Favorite as Web Favorite. But we need to import that first. So Imports internet favorites. So now that we've imported our class library we can use the web favorite class. So now we need to create a constructor. So we do this by using public sub new. Um, this should be familiar to you and it's going to take one argument. So whenever they create an object of this web favorite menu item it's go they're going to have to give it a web favorite um, for it to construct it properly. So we'll do by val new favorite as web favorite. And we'll go ahead and press enter and it'll add the end sub for us. So now what we need to do is set favorite, which is this right here, equal to new favorite. So we have this variable that we created and when they create an instance of this class right here, they have to give us a web favorite and then we set the favorite variable in here uh, the public favorite variable to what they have given us so this basically makes a copy of it so that we can use it um, throughout this class and now we just need to say text equals favorite dot name so text is pretty much the text of the menu item when we because we inherit from menu item we can access the text value. So let's say this is our menu item right here. The text value for this would be new project. So we're setting text equal to favorite.name. And now in our web favorites class, let's go ahead and look at that. We have the name, which is the name of the website. So when they right click, it's going to show the name of the website and it's not going to actually show the URL. So now what we need to do is we need to access the click event of this class. Now you may be thinking I thought you could only access click events for objects on your form such as buttons, uh, text boxes, labels, link labels, but whenever we inherit from menu item, so let's say this is a menu item right here, it can react to itself being clicked. So when we click on new project it's going to do something. So we need to access the click event of this. So what we can do is we can use this combo box right here. So when we drop this down you can see that we have web favorite menu item events and we can come over here to the declarations and we have all these events that we can use so we need to select the click event so whenever web favorite menu item is clicked what do we want to do well we'll say if not favorite is nothing then what do we want to do so basically what this saying what this is saying is if favorite is something because we're using a double negative here so if not favorite is nothing so not nothing would be something 
So if favorite is actually something and not a null value uh, for all you people who've worked with other languages, what we want to do is type process.start and then we'll do favorite.url. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to start the process and it's going to open this um, URL. So when you open URLs, when you click on URLs in any program on your computer, your computer knows to open this with your default web browser. So it's going to start that process and it's going to basically click on that if you want to say that. And it's going to open this right here and it's going to open it in your default browser. So go ahead and put this code in if you haven't already. Um, we created a menu item so that we can add a whole bunch of these web favorite menu items to a menu later on so that they can just right click on the star and it will show them all of their favorites.